Hey YouTube, today we are going to be making barbecue beef baked ribs and what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak it in lemon juice and vinegar. That's the starting of the cleaning process and how I'm going to do it is take it out the packet and I'm putting it in my pan, laying them out like this. And then I'm going to soak it in, let me just wash my hands right quick. I'm going to pour the lemon juice. As you can see, I'm pouring the lemon juice all over the ribs. i got to put enough. And now I'm going to pour some white vinegar. Same way how I did the lemon juice. Pour it to soak. And I also add a little bit of water just to blend it in with the lemon juice and the vinegar. Just a little bit. That's how I do it. And then you're going to you know just make sure that the water is covered and soaking evenly it's not much in the packet but this will do give it 15 minutes 15 minutes to soak and i will return back to you guys so i'm back from soaking my ribs and what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna season my beef ribs here I got the seasoned salt. I'm sorry, I got the sea salt and I have my cayenne pepper. I also have my dry thyme. I have my chili powder and I have garlic powder here as you can see and the paprika. I also have the black pepper. So these are all the seasonings that I will be using to season my meat and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the three tablespoon of sea salt so I can measure it out right. I got my spoon. That was one spoon. Got two spoons. And that's three spoons. So we did that now. And I got my gloves so that way I could rub in the seasoning. I'm gonna be all over my hand. And this is the cayenne pepper. We're gonna put one teaspoon. We're gonna put one teaspoon of this cayenne pepper on the uh, meat. And this is the dry thyme. We're gonna use one teaspoon as well. I also have my chili powder this is two tablespoons we are be we are going to be using don't want to go more than that because it's hot so that's one two black pepper we're gonna use one and a half teaspoon of that I'm gonna just shake it on there I use my judgment okay oh excuse me guys like I'm gonna sneeze so the paprika here um, we're gonna use one teaspoon um, the paprika here I'm gonna use a teaspoon of this Okay, and last we're going to use a teaspoon of garlic powder. So let's put a teaspoon of that here. Just a little bit more. 
Okay. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, um, as you see, I got my gloves on, I'm gonna now rub it in. Rub in the season. Make sure you're rubbing in the season all over the meat. Get it rubbed in good. Okay, so that should be it. Okay, so I'll be the, let me just wash my hands right quick. Okay, so the next thing what we're going to do is um, we're going to, let me take this gloves off, I'm sorry guys. What we're going to be doing is we're going to wrap the beef ribs in foil. We're going to preheat the oven to 225. To bake slow. Okay, I got my oven baked to 225. Um, so here we're gonna wrap them in foil. So what we're going to do now, we're going to put the beef ribs into the foil. I got my oven preheated to 225. And what I'm going to do now is take the ribs, lay them here in the foil. And I'm going to... Wait a minute, I'm gonna wrap it. I could bring that up a little bit. Okay, so yes, we're gonna wrap it. And we're gonna leave it to bake for three hours in the oven. And then you're gonna allow it to bake for three hours without disturbing. And I will come back to you guys so you can see the outcome of the bake rib. Hey, I'm back. So here is the ribs that I took out of the oven. And we're gonna take a look at the outcome. And as you can see, it's nice and brown and it's tender. You see this? Fabulous. So, we are now going to add the 
Sweet Baby Ray's, the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. That's my favorite. Tastes fabulous. Okay, so here I got the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce here. As you can see, I'm gonna spread it evenly on my ribs. Just spread it out. I do back and front. And get it all in. You could actually put as much as you desire to give it the taste that you prefer. Some people like a little, some people like a lot. As for me, I like to put a lot. Okay. Um, give me a second, guys. Okay. So, yes. I'm going to spread it. That's really good. bone is falling off of this so that's how you know this is extra tender when you see that the meat is falling off the bone that's a good sign that's how I like it I like my ribs to be extra soft and tender which that's how it's supposed to be let me add a little bit more Can't go wrong with sweet baby ray barbecue sauce. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it over. Yeah. Apply it now on the other side. Yes. Actually, and you could also have this with either sweet put I mean not sweet potato, potato salad or either macaroni salad whichever you prefer as a side dish you know this is wonderful i love it. i love it when it's tender like this okay, let me see put this over here and let me flip that. The, the bones, as you can see, guys, the bones are falling off of the meat. That is a good sign. Three hours of bacon is the preferable time for you to get the actual tenderness of the meat. Yes, I'm going to actually get rid of those bones. So let me take that out. It serves no purpose. No purpose at all. So let me just get rid of that. As you can see, I got my bowl. I put it there and there. Okay. Flip it over. I might have did this side, but hey, if I did, just extra more sauce. Okay, got my little brush, you know. Just sop it up. Oh, this is wonderful. Wonderful. You guys will love it. I will actually let you guys know how it tastes. My actual side dish that I'm going to make for this. I'm gonna do macaroni, baked macaroni and cheese. Baked mac and cheese, that's what I'm gonna do. But I will definitely let you guys know the outcome of this nice, juicy, tender ribs. I'll actually, let me put some at the side right here. Turn this to the side. Just 
falling off, as you can see. Mm. Okay. All right, so now that it's done, you guys are gonna hear the results once I have it with my mac and cheese. So let me know what you guys think about my recipe. Comment, subscribe, and hey guys this is what my plate look like can't wait to eat it it looks so good don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you in my next video bye guys